Technology. Brian Marshall of VNet joins us now, uh, and we're talking about the fact that this month is Cybersecurity Awareness Month, and uh, we are talking about all kinds of best practices when you come in, uh, with password safety and all that. Let's start with phishing. That's something that we've talked about quite a bit. Sure. Yeah. So phishing is really important. To, so they basically with this Cybersecurity Awareness Month, we want everybody to think about four different pillars. Right. We're talking about. We're talking about phishing, then we're going to talk about passwords, we're going to talk about MFA, and then we're going to, we're going to finish up with making sure that everything's up to date. Um, when we're talking about phishing, it's really, really important that we're looking at every email that we get, every text that we get, every interaction that we get with a very fine eye. If it seems too good to be true, it probably is. Right. These people don't want to be your friends. You know, We talk about this all the time. It's really important that you that if you see something and it doesn't make sense, report it or just delete it. Just delete just, it. Just ignore, ignore it. it. I just mentioned this to you off camera, so it's not fair to throw it at you right now. But what about all the the political stuff that's coming through our text messages? Yeah, isn't that Should wonderful? we ignore it? I, Is ignore, it? I ignore all of it. Okay. There's, I'm not saying a text message you received is not coming from somebody of legitimate. Right. It could you don't be, know. But honestly. I don't got the time. Right. Like this, the risk is way too high for me just happening to respond back to give somebody some bit of information. Right. There's no benefit from it. All they're doing is trying to get information from me. If they need that information, they should get it other ways. Exactly. Okay. What's next? Passwords. So now passwords, right? And we say passwords, but you know I like to say passphrases. You we do. We want to try to make them nice and long, right? So let's use those passphrases. Let's use that purple monkey dishwasher seven, whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. Let's give ourselves some a fighting chance that the bad guys aren't going to be able to guess it. As soon as you get past that twelve character mark, it becomes much more difficult for the computers to crack your password. Right. So you get into that 12, 15, 16 characters, it's pretty great. Okay. Uh, what else? Then we go into multi-factor authentication, right? We've got a good strong password, yep. but what if somebody gets a hold of that? Let's have that ever-changing multi-factor. So that's that code that gets texted to you or right. it's on one of those apps. Make sure that you've got multi-factor if you can. Or to it. ask you questions you know, that you can answer to. That only you that know, only you not know. something that you've posted out there into the world. Exactly. And fourth today? So keep your stuff up to date. We talked about it last week with your phone. It's asking you to do updates. Make sure you're running your security updates. Don't put that off till tomorrow. Mm -hmm. When they say that there's a security vulnerability and it needs to get taken care of, make sure you run that update. Yeah. Yeah, so important, but really the, the first thing to do really is to take a look and consider your passwords. And we've talked about this before, the past phrases can be so great. And you say, go ahead and write them down. Get those password books or, or because like you said, nobody's going to be going through your house looking for that. Right. Way better than storing it on your phone. Yes. Right. Don't, don't have all your passwords. Don't just pick one easy password because it's easy. Security is never easy. Right, you can't do it the easy way. Right, but you don't have to make it so hard that now you're crippled and you can't do anything. Right, go ahead, take a notebook out, put them in there, lock it in your drawer. That's a fine place and to keep your it. password. Use a password manager. Lots of ways to do it. Don't resort to easy methods. Yeah, all right, love it. Great advice, great tips, Brian Marshall. Thanks. Um, where can they go, if, uh, our viewers, if they want more information? Actually, if you head over to the VNet website, we've got tons of things at vnet.us. There's all kinds of resources there. Um, also, the what is this? The cybersecurity awareness is cisa.gov. Mm -hmm. They also have things there as well. Perfect, Brian Marshall. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me.